My name is Sanita Switzer from Ghana. We are for Rural Women Farmers Association of Ghana, which is a member of We Are The Solution, or Some the Solution. In fact, I'm very happy with what I've come here to see the seed we have, because in some, in even our area, they only say that whatever the peasant farmer is, is a grain, but not a seed. So that we should rather buy the seed from the agri people. But I wonder whether they even have such seeds. Because I've seen different, different varieties of seed. Me, myself, I brought more than 40 varieties of different types of seed, which is okay. Which, if you go to the agri or wherever, you are likely not to get it. So I'm very happy with this fair name. Even seeing those that the other countries also brought, I've gotten varieties of seed, sunflower, so many types of seed, which I'm proud. And I know that they can never get it for us in the office, which I don't even need because I myself, I don't know which one is GMO, neither to talk about. So if I go to buy the seed, it can be GMO. If it is GMO, this means that if I plant it this year, coming here, I cannot plant it again. Where are we heading towards? Because I, as a peasant farmer, will go and buy maybe for one acre. Then they come in here, I have to go and buy. If God is not on my side and it doesn't rain proper, then this means that I will lose woefully and that is the end. Where will I get money to buy the coming year again? And it goes with chemical inputs, which is not also helping us. But if you have to add fertilizer, so, so many kind of spray, it's not going to help us because it will pollute the air and it will also pollute the water system, which will affect us. So whatever that we plant today, we are planting our life. So if we take chemicals to plant, then we know that our life too will also be full of chemicals. And this means that generations to come, we may not even live to see whatever that it is. So what I've seen here, I'm very, very impressed. I'm happy because we even share the seed. But with the seed that you buy from the distance, they'll give you how many acres, one acre, then they'll give you the seed according to the number of acres. So can you share? You can share. But this one, we exchange, we share, we do all kind of thing, which I'm very, very happy. And I wish such, such uh, 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 shows should always be organized for we, the peasant farmers, so that we manage with the little seeds that we have, continue to grow, and I also allow them to do whatever they, they do, because I don't support the GMO. It's a threat to our life, threat to the animals and everything that we have in the environment, which will be consumed by us at the end of the day. Then we'll also suffer it. Yes, so me, to me, the bigger threat is the use of this GMO and then the agro inputs. It's a bigger threat to me and the whole, all the peasant farmers because they are now, whatever that they are doing, it's not helping us, it's not favoring us. Uh -huh. When you look at going to buy the seed, going to buy fertilizer, so if it doesn't rain, what happens? All the seed will be destroyed. Then the fertilizer too will also be waste. So this means that we are going back to the Nkrumah slave trade. Yes, because he fought very well to let us move away from that. But they are using plan B to get us. So that if now you push off all your local seed and embrace their seed, then tomorrow it will become, if it is expensive. And it's even expensive as of now. But when you look at it, fertilizer they used to give us free. But now see. They said they will uh, subsidize it. Now the subsidy is not coming. You buy a bag of fertilizer about 300 Ghana cities plus. Where are you heading towards? So if you buy three, four to put an, in an acre of farmland and it doesn't rain, what happened? Then the small cow that or one cow that you have, you have to sell it to pay for that. And what happened to your family when you are in a doom? So in fact, what? We as uh, women farmers are doing and other farmers who are supporting agroecology is that we are keeping our peasant seed and also doing some kind of manure, organic manure to do our own fertilizer, organic uh, fertilizer or manure to apply on the farm. So when we do that, at least we know that we will produce good seed, we will produce good food and we also fertilize our land. But if we use manure, it will take two to three years. But fertilizer one, they come in here, if you don't apply, you can't get anything on the land. And it's also depleting the land. So by adding the manure, if you add small portion today, because people at times, it's the perception, people at times say that no, if we, the manure, if you put, you will not get good yield. It's not true. If you have maybe uh, one acre, you can divide a small portion, put your organic fertilizer, because pay the quantity you have. But then we'll take one back and want to put it in all. 
definitely you will not get any good meal. But if you portion it, maybe one bag you just take like three, four meters and you apply, definitely you get good meal. The coming year, the one that you have again, you continue. Small, small till you finish covering the full acre with your manure. And you know that you get good and proper food from that land. <laughs> and another thing too that we are now doing that at least whatever that you eat, you try to produce it. If you farm to eat, have your backyard garden, then if we have our backyard garden, you have your vegetables and everything there to eat. And somebody go and do chemical water for you and you don't buy. Will the person produce again? No. To me, that is another way we can do. So that they'll stop because if you go and buy your chemicals to come and produce, bring it to the supermarket. I don't buy. I have my own bag, yard garden, I have my okra, all my vegetables, and I pluck to eat. Will I buy your own? If I don't buy, then tomorrow it will teach you a lesson that you have to go back to the local way so that we all. In fact, the role of women in this kind of food sovereignty is that women are custodians of seeds. When you look at mathematically or whatever in percentage, out of 100%, 80% farmers are women. Yes, it was those days, but now women have taken up because we look at it, initially we thought we would be farming just for family consumption, but we've seen that if you have nothing doing, farming is also a business, it can be a business. So we've come into and we are farming and believe me that women have more seeds than men. Well, if we talk about maize seed, uh, they have maize in my local setup, they have maize, sorghum, guinea corn, Maybe rice cell, they don't do much. But women have granite, soya, veget all kind of vegetables. So when you count, when you count, you see that women have more, more seed than. And what we do to preserve it is by using our local ash, neem leaf, we we'll dry it in the room, pound it and put it. Or even use a drum, a gallon, an empty gallon, make sure it's airtight, you dry it, it's well dried, then you put your seed inside, then you cook it, you are good. It will last for more than a year or two without any problem because people at times have fears for storing beans in particular, or bambara beans. Uh -huh. But if you use this kind of method, it will last for long. We have produce sacks, if you have money, you can also buy. But using our local ash, pepper, pepper powder, then the neem leaf, neem oil, you can preserve it. And that one, you can just fake it immediately and eat. But if it is like going to be, pick these chemicals to come and then do, when you eat it, then you, are, you, you have a problem because of a runny tummy or you may even die. But if you use the local storage method, you can do and eat at the same time with any problem.